A groom has arrived at his wedding so drunk the minister refused to marry him. The nuptials were called off just minutes before the heartbroken bride arrived at the Adelaide church. And now, as the ex-groom tells Brett Clappis, everyone has overreacted. It was meant to be the happiest day of Jacob Brooks's life. I've been dreaming for days and days and days about her beautiful wedding dress and seeing her walking down the aisle, man. But he never saw the dress. Mr Brooks arrested for disorderly behaviour after an altercation broke out when the minister at the Uniting Church in Adelaide's western suburbs refused to proceed with the ceremony because the groom was drunk, a claim Mr Brooks rejects. All of a sudden, the fingers pointed at me. The morning after, his clothes are torn and he's nursing broken bones and bruising after being charged with resisting arrest. The only words he got to pledge were to his arresting officers from a cell. I'm like, I'm meant to be getting married, man. And all I could think about was my woman. His humiliated bride-to-be is too distraught to speak publicly. Reverend Ian Hunter was happy to talk, just not on camera. He says calling off the wedding was the hardest decision he's made as a minister, but he'd do the same again. The Reverend said he made his decision because he could not legally sign to the binding conditions of a marriage document given the circumstances. The 120 guests were stunned. Mr Brooks says the couple poured $30,000 into the day. All I needed was my woman to feel like she was the queen of the day, man. She's told Eyewitness News there's no chance of a reconciliation. Brett Clappis, 10 Eyewitness News.